The Punnett Square. A Punnett Square is a diagram used to predict the way genes will interact, or it's used to see what genes will do when they're together. So it has to do with genes, thinking about August's face and the fact that via mom and dad all have that one mutant gene. Okay, so that's what the title of this chapter is. If I have children, there's a one in two chance that I will pass on the defective gene to them. That doesn't mean they'll look like August, but they'll carry that gene that got double dosed in August and helped make him the way that he is. If I marry someone who has the same defective gene, there's a one in two chance that our kids will carry the gene and look totally normal. A one in four chance that our kids will not carry the gene at all. And a one in four chance that our kids will look like August. If August has children with someone who doesn't have a trace of the gene, there's a 100% probability that their kids will inherit the gene, but a 0% chance that their kids will have a double dose of it, like August. Which means they'll carry the gene no matter what, but they could look totally normal. If he marries someone who has the gene, their kids will have the same odds as my kids. This only explains the part of August that's unexplainable. I'm sorry. This only explains the part of August that's explainable. There's the other part of his genetic makeup that's not inherited, but just incredibly bad luck. Countless doctors have drawn a little tic-tac-toe grids for my parents over the years to try and explain the genetic lottery to them. Remember, a lottery is like a chance or a choice, right? So we don't choose what genes our kids get or how those genes inter interact, it just happens. That's why it's a lottery. I'm gonna start right here. Geneticists, the people that study genes, use these Punnett squares to determine inheritance, recessive and dominant genes, probabilities, and chance. But for all they know, there is more they don't know. They can try to forecast the odds, but they can't guarantee them. So they can make a guess about what might happen, but there's no guarantees in medicine. They use terms like germline mo mosaicism. Ooh, that's a hard word. Let's try that again. They use terms like germline mosaicism, chromosome rearrangement, or delayed mutation to explain why their science is not exact science. I actually like how doctors talk. I like the sound of science. I like how words you don't understand explain things that you can't understand. There are countless people under words like germline mosaicism, chromosome rearrangement, or delayed mutation. Countless babies will never be born like mine. What does that mean? Does Via not want kids? Do you think she's scared she might have a baby like August?